Today we're going to go over how to configure and set up your Spectre shoulder holster. Today we have a non-light bearing version. So out of the bag, you're going to get this complete holster set up, it's fully assembled. We recommend laying this out as on a table as you would wear it, loosen everything up. And we do recommend having someone help you adjust this, but you can accomplish it by yourself. First step to fitment is putting the holster on. So you're going to grab the top of each shoulder loop. I'm going to pick it up and then just throw it on simply like a jacket, like so. This does confuse quite a few people as far as, hey, I have a left-handed holster. That is incorrect. This is, in fact, a right-handed rig for under the left armpit draw. This design allows for better concealment as well as a better draw stroke with a garage for your red dot optic. So in order to tighten up your strap here, you're gonna undo this bar, slide this up through here, get some material through it, and then simply lock it down like so. Starting here, I'm gonna raise this up to where I want it to be, where it's, it's gonna sit, and then starting on this strap right here, and raise it up to where I want it to sit. And you do the same thing to the opposite side. So going from here, we're gonna have Henry come in and help me with the back side of this. He's adjusting this, the back the same way you would do the front. He's doing the same exact thing to the other side. You'll repeat this process until the harness is symmetrical and snug. And these do stretch, like so. So going from there, he's going to adjust this back strap and it's going to help retain these two shells together and provide some stretch. So once you have everything adjusted to where, you, where it feels comfortable, we're gonna check it with our equipment. So clear gun, we recommend using loaded mags. Kind of feel where everything's gonna ride and you can make finer adjustments to the front and back. So moving forward to these downriggers that are on the bottom of your Spectre shoulder holster. There's a couple different ways you can do this. So if you have a shorter torso, you can connect this directly around your belt and loop the G-hook back through the elastic here. Or you can run it this way through your belt loop and just hook that on there like so and make your adjustments so it's tight. These are also removable. So you can unthread this piece of elastic from this bottom slot right here and then you will get a little bit of rattle, so we recommend taping these or using a zip tie to silence them. Now that everything is properly adjusted for our Spectre and everything feels good with our equipment, the last thing you need to do is to trim your excess material. Keep in mind that you should leave some of the slack for extra clothing when the time arises and cauterize this so it doesn't fray. So once we have everything properly fitted for our Spectre and everything feels good with our equipment, we're gonna go into the draw stroke. So. Drawing a firearm is a two-handed motion, no matter what you're doing. If you're clearing your garment to access your firearm, you're gonna do it with two hands. So this is meant for concealment, so you're generally gonna have a jacket or a shirt over this. I'm wearing it open carry right now. So what that's gonna look like with the Spectre is I'm gonna be clearing my garment this direction and pinning the holster here and completely making sure my garment is out of the equation when I draw this pistol. So sweeping my garment to the side, securing the pistol, breaking retention and coming into my presentation. As well as for reholster, same thing, reverse process, clearing the garment, positively making sure that's back where it needs to be. Included in each package with the Spectre is this QR code you can scan that'll lead you to YouTube for instructional videos. I'm Jay, this has been our instructional video on how to set up your Spectre shoulder holster. If you have any questions, give us a call or visit gunfightersinc.com.